Welcome guys to another episode of Rank 'Em, episode 13. It is me, Don, here with the franchise Neil. What's up? And this is a show where we rank the teams from 30 worst to one being the best. And this is our analysis, guys, so you Don't guys might us. you guys might Don't agree, you guys might disagree. <laughs> but now we are narrowing it down. We're almost halfway there, Neil. And now we are at ranked number 18. What is it? The Hornets. The Hornets, guys. I'm repping, you already know, because I got these on. The right. Jordan 12 Gamas, you already know, shoe game. But um, I think I disagreed with Neil on this one. Neil thought they were 18. Yeah. I disagreed. What did you think they were? I thought that... They were at least 17 or 16, I believe. Because the one team in the Eastern Conference I feel like that this team's better than is the Bucks. I think that this team's better than the Bucks. Yeah, I disagree with that. Why do you disagree with that? I disagree with that because who did, who did Charlotte actually gain in the offseason? You have a point. <laughs> they did lose Jeremy Lin to <laughs> Brooklyn! But, um, that doesn't make really a difference because this team did make the playoffs last season. Mm. And Kemba Walker is a beast. And remember, they didn't even have Michael Gilchrist. He's good. Not that big of a difference maker. Though. He's still really good. And they actually got Bellinelli now. <laughs> but he's oh, great. He's garbage. <laughs> but the Bucks, I don't know. I, I'm, I actually think that this team is better than the Bucks. No, Playoff team, maybe not. Maybe off by like one game. But we ranked, I guess we both, we had to rank them at 18. So now go through the roster. Okay. Kemba Walker. All-star. Yeah. All-star. He should be an all-star. Nicholas Batum. Underrated. Good shooter. Yep. Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Underrated as well. Look at his shot, guys. It's gross. He still makes it. Marco Bellinelli. Yeah. Roy Hibbert. You can't tell me they're better than the Bucks now after getting Roy Hibbert. Oh, Roy Hibbert, yeah, he's trash. Okay. Keep going through the list. I'll tell you who's been there. Frank Kaminsky. Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank. I love Frank the Tank. Okay. All right, I kind of like this guy, Jeremy Lamb. He's a good guy. Yep, shooter. underrated. Yeah. <laughs> underrated. Cody Zeller, the better. Yeah. He's better than his brother, Tyler. Just letting you know. Yep, Cody, guys. He's good. Marvin Williams. Underrated. Okay. Spencer Hawes. Underrated. I think he's, he's trash. Good. Nah, I don't think Spencer Hawes is that good. Tyler Hansborough. He's okay. Ramon Sessions. Okay, not that bad. Um... Brian Roberts. Yeah, he's okay. Aaron Harrison, I've heard of him. I think he played he played on Kentucky too, so that's one of their Kentucky guys. Kentucky Bond. Mike Toby. Don't know who that is. Me either. Christian Wood. No idea who he is either. Oh my god, Jason Maxiel. I have no idea who he no. is. No, remember him from the Pistons way back when. Oh, yeah. Remember Mc Antonio McDice back then? No, not really. All right. Okay, well, ba basically, when Rondo was on the Celtics, he posterized them, I think. That's just me. But, oh, uh, man. Trevion Graham, I don't know, but they're, they're, half their roster's not that impressive compared to Milwaukee. That's all I'm saying. Yes, but now in today's NBA, this is my defense. Okay. In today's NBA, okay. it's not about the rosters stuff. It, it's because not? guess what? Wait, wait, wait. It's not? Super teams don't win titles. Stars win titles. But here's the thing. The Bucks, they had the assets last season. But where did they go? Where did they go? Tell me. Where, where did they go? They were hurt. 
you understand Jabari her, Parker was hurt a little bit. Her and if Gilchrist was playing, they would be Miami in the playoffs first round. Jabari Parker's better than Kate Gilchrist. Oh, no that. doubt. Oh, Jabari. Okay, now that. That, I will say. I like yeah. Jabari Parker better. He eats. But... Yeah, I don't. I see this team as a good team, but just I think just missing the playoffs. But uh, I don't know. Me. I think Frank is gonna go off this season. I think so. They don't got Al Jefferson now, so guess what? He's gonna start, and he'll probably be power forward at most. Who, who's who's their backup point guard? Who's the replacement of Jeremy? Oh, uh, let's see here. I'll look right now. I believe their backup is. Raymond Sessions, which is not better than Lynn, but okay. Lynn is playing for Brooklyn now, and Charlotte fans are happy that Lynn, not happy that he left, but they understood why he needs to start, and they have Kemba Walker, and Walker is nasty, he's yeah. going to carry this team, I feel like, and their only issue they got to watch out for is injuries, I think, yeah. and their bench could be a little better, but there are a lot of them are underrated. What about, what about their center? Roy Hibber? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. But Roy Hibber is not that good, but he did have one good season in Indiana. So yeah, that really, was one season. You can't really doubt him. Yes, Los Angeles maybe was a dark time for yeah. him, but this is a new start for him. And maybe it's good to have a new start. Al Jefferson's having a new start in Indiana. Al Jefferson was better on Charlotte, though. Lamb. Look at Lamb. He was so underrated. He played for OKC. Yeah. Now he finally has that start. Right. So like I'm looking Cody Zeller too. Underrated. Much better than Tyler Zeller. Deal's yeah, favorite. I hate Tyler pick, Zeller. Favorite player from the Celtics. Uh, <laughs> Marvin Williams is good. He proved himself. He's, like get, he's, get, he's getting old, but he hasn't shown how he's not really that old. Yeah, but no, I'm looking at this roster and it's underrated as hell. But the only thing with the Bucks is, yes, I like the I like the Bucks better. I'm more of a fan of a Bucks than Hornets, but I'm just saying, like, from pl- at least this team had playoff experience. Well, actually, I'm going to stop myself <laughs> there because I forgot the Bucks were in the playoffs, yeah. not last year, but the year yeah. before. So I'm going to stop myself there. And the Bucks, the only problem with them is injury- injuries. So that's why I'm saying okay. Hornets will be better if Bucks don't get injured. But if the Bucks can stay healthy, Bucks are definitely better. I can say that. Okay, at least. okay. What's their record? Charlotte? 39 wins, I think. They're, they're going to have um, 39. If, yeah, probably, probably, yeah, 39 too. Yeah, I would say 39. If Bucks, ain't, if Bucks don't stay healthy, they'll definitely not be in 500 club, which means this team will probably go 40, that. 41. Okay, if Milwaukee's not healthy, I'll say Charlotte's better. Yes, but if they're healthy, then this team's yeah. 39. So they're going down this season, I believe. Because you lost Jeremy Lin. They lost Jeremy Lin. <laughs> but Jeremy Lin is a decent point guard. He needed to go to a team and start. And I think this team was not going to spend 36 mil for Lin. I, or I think no. I think Charlotte, they would have paid 36 mil because it's not a lot of money. But they probably weren't expecting the Nets to give them cheap. Right. They were probably expecting Lynn to have like like half these players got free agency. Like 95 mil, 60 mil, 70 mil. Right. But this team is looking very underrated. If if Gilchrist can't stay healthy, they're definitely going way down. They gotta watch out with that. Gilchrist is really good, I think. That's a guy to keep your eyes on. Okay. And then Frank the Tank as well. He could he could get most improved. You never know. I still think Kid. In playoffs, he did really good though. In the playoffs, I still think Kid Gilchrist won't do anything. You never know. You, you can't sleep on it. You don't watch Charlotte. Don't judge. I I, I, I I watched him in the preseason last night. You look pretty trash to me. Oh okay. Well, you I'm just him. saying. Well, you watch him because you're Celtics for playing him. That's true. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, this team. I don't know what they're doing. I think their front office just slept in free agency. I think they just said, you know what? We had a long season. We made it to the seventh seed. And 
I think we had a long season, so you know what? We're just going to rest. Jo- Michael Jordan's like, we're going to rest. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't really do anything except bring in Roy Hibber and... Um, yeah, that's looks like that's literally look like yeah. that's all they really did. They didn't do nothing in the draft, nothing in free agency. They should have at least went for one star. Yeah. Come on. But I don't know what this front office is really doing, guys. The only reason why I'm really repping this hat because it looks good with my gamas. <laughs> oh man, I like I like the colors of the Hornets, guys. So don't think I'm uh, I am I'm a fan of the Hornets. I, I would pick them over Miami any day, but you know yeah. what? No, they're not going anywhere. Lynn left, and they slept in for agency. They should have replaced them. And they have a time. They have a chance. Sign Norris Cole. Stop sleeping on Norris Cole, guys. And by probably by the time this video gets up, he'll probably be signed for someone, yeah. and you guys are probably going to be like, damn, you're really stupid. Yeah. But... He really needs to get signed. This is embarrassing me, hasn't it? I know. Mario Chambers, I think. Did he get signed by the Cavs or something? He was thinking, yeah, he was in this. Oh, no, no, no. It was somebody else, Tony Douglas or something. Tony Douglas, that's right. So, yeah, they still got Mario Chalmers. They got Norris Cole. There's still some people in free agency. But um, this Hornets team, I feel like, is going down. And it sucks to see that because I was actually rooting for them. And Neil does have a point about the injury thing, about the Bucks. So I think yeah. Bucks are better than Hornets. Okay. He beat me in that discussion. But if the Bucks definitely are hurt, then guess what? Hornets will still be there, and they still won't make the playoffs. But um, if you enjoyed this video, guys, splash the like button. If you have not hit the subscribe button yet to become a best one, hit that sub button now. And links down in the description below. Follow him on Twitter at Neil Sports Mind and me at Donnie Barnard. And to all the best ones worldwide. Okay. The ITB1. Taking over. Taking over. Peace. Peace.